Hey, what is up guys? It's Captain Aberger, and I'm back with some more Infinite Warfare news. Now, this came out a couple days ago. I was just taking a day or two break from making videos because I knew I got a grind and it was like a bunch of videos in a row and I kind of want to let you guys catch up because I didn't know if you had uh, seen all of them. So I wanted to just let you guys kind of catch up because the news kind of calmed down. So now I'm going to talk about some more news that happened back then couple days ago and I haven't covered yet so last year in August with Black Ops 3 they had for anybody who pre-ordered the game whether it was on Xbox one PS4 or PC um, they had a open free beta for anybody who had pre-ordered it and um, this beta was really well worked really well because it let the people test out some of the guns uh, we had four of the maps I believe um, as well as we could test out what the specialists were like, the movement, and uh, see what the game was all about, mostly. And um, that was really good for last year with Black Ops 3. And um, I think they've confirmed that they're going to do it again for Infinite Warfare. And I think this could be really, really good for the community. Because I hear a lot of people saying that they're not going to buy the game because, oh, there's advanced movement. Well, there's actually a chain-based system of movement. And um, it's not necessarily just flying around like Advanced Warfare. That's what everybody's thinking. But um, it could really help because even if people like pre-order the game, they can always cancel it after the beta. That might be a thing that could be possible for them to do um, if they want to see what it's like, but they don't want to necessarily buy the game if they don't like it. They can just buy the bait, buy enough to play the beta. Um, see if they like the beta, see if they like the movement, and test out the maps and the guns and everything else as aspects of the game. And then if they don't like it still, and they still don't really like it at all, they can either keep it so they get uh, COD 4, or they can just cancel the pre-order and get rid of it. So, that should be a good thing this year. I know I will be playing the beta and probably getting gameplays of it this year because I actually have a PS4 early by the time I pre-order it and stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment what you think of the beta. And uh, subscribe down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.